Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell, we're definitely up at the houseboat and it is cold. We actually didn't realize until we had our bags packed and we were headed up here to the houseboat that it's supposed to snow tomorrow. And that doesn't happen that often in Georgia, especially where we live in Atlanta. You usually just get like that icy wintry mix that makes it almost impossible to drive anywhere. So we're excited to see maybe that we'll get some snow, but because of that, we realized that we didn't really have the proper clothes <laughs> or really enough food in case we get snowed in. So we are you know, patiently waiting to see what happens. Yeah, and we need to actually be away from our house from Atlanta for a few days, and there's gonna be more to come on that later. So we came up to the boat and we realized that there's gonna be a winter storm. We're actually under a winter storm advisory right now. So we're gonna do a last few minute things to get to get better prepared for what could be a six inches of snow or ice. And stick around with us because I think this is gonna be a really fun impromptu episode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> expecting a little inclement weather this weekend a little bit of snow a little bit of ice which is not very typical for the Atlanta area in North Georgia but the thing I'm concerned about the most is the wind the wind should be gusting up to 30 35 miles an hour which more than icy roads could mean down power lines the benefits of being on a houseboat is that we have a generator so I'm about to give it a crank see if it works make sure there's no dead batteries in case we lose power on the dock this weekend Power's available on the generator. We got two full tanks of gas. Let's just hope we don't lose power and have to use it. But I'm glad to know it works. So we are headed out to the grocery store to go get a couple extra meals in case we get snowed in for a little bit. And being that we're from Atlanta, this is our typical cold weather snow gear, which consists of tennis shoes and jeans. And we're gonna go try and find some rain boots for the snow and ice and Maybe some mittens for Claire? Yeah, she needs some mittens and it's already getting cloudy outside. It's maybe supposed to start snowing this evening. So we're gonna, like all good Georgians, run out to the grocery store as fast as we can and get all the groceries off the shelves. <laughs> no minute like the last minute. That Dory's ready to go. All right, sweet pea, let's load up. It's a cold morning. Not a lot of activity going on in the arena today. Though we do have several people on their boats on our dock this weekend. I think there's going to be about 10 families riding out the storm on houseboats together. So we're going to see how this goes. spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden i'll follow him golden hey my sweets what's in the bag so we got some waterproof shoes for me and you sweet not find any for claire though i don't think they make any as small as her foot is but we found a blanket we realized that we only had like summer blankets and she needs one that's a little warmer for tonight because we don't want her to stay the angel to be cold. So now we're on the search for, I guess, like long johns and pretty much that's it. This is how you know that it's going to have snow in the south. No food. Still got a little bit here and there, not much. Okay, so we've made it back from the grocery store. We had to get the last minute run for some diapers and wipes and a little bit of beer. And we got an extra meal or two in case we are freezed in for a couple days. We also went and got some shoes that we can use on the dock should it freeze. We only have tennis shoes up here and flip flops. So we thought it'd be nice to have some winter boots. And we found a place with some boots that were on sale so that we can make walking on a, a frozen dock probably a little bit easier. 
I went ahead and I also filled up the water tanks. I was worried about the hose line that goes to all the boats freezing in the high winds and the very cold temperatures that we're gonna have. So we now have about 320 gallons of fresh water on board should those lines freeze up. I was out driving around and I noticed that my tire pressure indicator uh, had come on that my tires were getting very low. So I filled up the tires. Should we need to leave and go somewhere, they're safe to drive on. I've got some gas in the car as well, should we again need to leave and go anywhere. We've also made sure that the cushions from the outside furniture are put up so that they don't blow away. And we also have some life jackets out. We're definitely gonna have to walk Dory and I'd hate for someone to fall on some slippery ice, hit their head and then fall into the water. So we're gonna wear some life jackets, have some extra precautions. Dory's gonna be wearing hers as well. And finally, I'm gonna go back and check the engine compartment vents. I wanna make sure those are buttoned up because with 30, 40 mile an hour winds and below freezing temperatures, I don't want any of those engine components freezing. And I've got a new bilge heater that I wanna try out. The bilge heater that we have came with a houseboat and I think it works, it tests, but I really want something new. I'm gonna go install this new bilge heater and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it while I do that. What I'm checking for here, these are some vents that vent to the outside so that vapors and air can get through here. But with it gonna be so cold, I've come back here to check to make sure that they're covered up. I stuck some dirty rags under here. You can still see one right there. A Little bit of tape over it. That way cold air won't be blowing through here and the heat from the bilge heater will keep everything in here well above freezing. And everything looks good on the port side. Have that vent covered up as well. It's right here next door one, I've stuffed the shirt in there. That's the blower. I don't wanna put anything in there. That should keep all the warm air in. So here's the new bilge heater I'm going to install from Extreme Heaters. They're made right up here in Buford, Georgia. And in full disclosure, Dory is going to test it out too. Uh, but they reached out to me proactively and asked us if we would do an open and honest product review. Uh, we're, very, very, we're very much into supporting local businesses and I thought this would be a great example of how we can support a local business and the products that they are developing. I was very impressed when I've unboxed it just about the build quality of this. I'm gonna do a full product review in a separate video, but it's been sitting outside for several hours and there's a temperature sensor right there. And since that temperature sensor is 40 degrees, I'm gonna plug this in and it's already turned on which means well before the engine compartment can get to freezing, this is gonna turn on and start circulating warm air. It's gonna get cold and windy, so again, a full product review coming up later, but so far, first impressions, I'm very impressed with this. I've left the bilge heater plugged in. One thing I have already noticed is when I was down over here, checking the exhaust vents to make sure that they were covered up and the warm air would stay in, the bilge heater that we have in there now, sitting right there on the left-hand side right here, it hasn't turned on. So the fact that this one is turning on in 40 degree temperature to keep this engine compartment warm well before it gets to freezing is very reassuring. We have the bilge heater down here. I'm gonna test out a few different placements. I wanna make sure that there's enough air behind it and in front of it to get some good circulation. It's over here just by the port engine sandwiched, not sandwiched, but right next to the generator. I wanna come back in a few hours and test that it still gets warm air over here to the starboard engine. Another item that we have is a mounting bracket so it can stay in place. And so I wanna test out a few locations before using this mounting bracket for easy disconnect and connect, and it'll be firmly affixed to a, uh, a nice, nice area in the engine compartment. There's a joke that goes, how many ropes are you supposed to use to tie up your boat during a storm? The answer is all of them. So I got a few extra ropes, going to throw a few on here. Wind might even gust up to 50. So we want to keep this boat secure. What'd you bring us? <laughs> I was expecting that. Uh, a little Caesars, uh, yeah. still hot and ready to eat Ooh. pizza. Ready to eat pizza. Our uh, bellies are going to be full tonight. Oh, they are. And 
Hey, Dory. Hey, Dory. Are you excited, too? Uh, we were not the only ones with the uh, Little Caesar idea. No? Yeah. Was there a lot of people out there getting pizza? Oh, yeah. A bunch of people getting pizza. Hey, sweet girl. Sweet Pea, how did you do at Little Caesars? She did great. It's starting to get windy. Do you eat that sweet potato? Did you throw it down for Dory? I think she threw it down for Dory. We are sitting here eating dinner the night before it's supposed to snowed. And I think it might start raining around like 11 tonight. I think I say 11, mixed precipitation, freezing rain and snow. We pushed the easy button tonight. We've got pizza and salad. And Claire's got her usual uh, charcuterie plate, if you will, for babies, <laughs> which is fruit, meat, and cheese and maybe the occasional Hawaiian roll. Ooh, and uh, <clears throat> as we're sitting here, we can hear the wind picking up and the boat kind of creaking back and forth a little bit. So we're gonna bundle up tonight. Bundle up. We're gonna stay really warm. Hopefully cross our fingers that we don't lose power, that we have our generator. Hey! Hey, <laughs> just in case. So wish us luck and we will see you tomorrow. Good see night. Good night. <laughs> Taking Dory for a walk here. Not sure if you can tell, but the wind's starting to starting to pick up. The weather for sure is rolling in. Standing in front of the boat now. A lot of people up here. A lot of people up here. Can't see, but the waves are uh, waves and wind have really picked up. Well, uh. About to head to bed and check everything out in the morning. Hey, what time is it? Uh, it's about 5.30. I think the uh, furniture is sliding around upstairs and it woke me up. Yeah, it woke me up too. So, it's pretty windy outside. Pretty windy outside. It's definitely gusting in the 30s for sure. You think so? Oh yeah, it's pretty windy. I can definitely feel the boat rocking back and forth. Yeah, it's definitely picked up since last night. It's not like rocking like how it does over the summer when the waves are going because there's so many boats on the lake, but it's like a consistent just kind of like back and forth. Back and forth like this. It's very, it's very aggressive. It's a little cooler in here now. Yeah, the poor little heat pump's trying to keep up. So it's like 66 in here, but it's fine. Nothing what did we set it at, 70? I had it set at 68, so it's like down two degrees trying to keep up. It's probably the freezing rain getting on the thing thinking it's freezing so i'll go check it out in a minute yeah i can hear that there's like some like freezing rain or sleet or something going yeah, on something. no snow yet though no snow typical it should be like a mile south of us is like rain and a mile north of us is snow so <laughs> typical we get the freezing rain well, i'm gonna go back to sleep all right So we all slept pretty good last night. Surprisingly, though, Trey and I have been up since about like 5.30. We woke up because the wind was gusting and I normally sleep in earplugs and I, even I was awake. Um, we weren't like scared or anything, but we were just listening to the wind and making sure Claire was asleep. But she was awesome and slept the whole time. So that's been great. So we're not sleep deprived or anything this morning. I woke up, I think also too at 5.30 because I wanted to see if it was snowing and it hasn't snowed yet. It's supposed to snow hopefully around lunchtime, and uh, I think it's gonna snow until probably about like seven o'clock tonight. We'll see, but I've been checking out the front of the boat and it looks really windy. So I'm gonna go out there and look around and I'm, I've bundled up and I actually don't think I'm gonna be warm enough because I just stuffed off the back of the boat and it was so cold. My hands are cold within like five minutes, even with gloves on. So uh, we'll go see what's going on out there. Wow. 
Wow, it is so windy and rainy. Kind of a little bit eerie. Uh, working good. Trey's about to go open the engine hatch to start the generator. It's time. We were hoping that we would keep power for most of the day, but it's only like 9.30 in the morning, so. Hey, sweet pea. You open the engine hatch? I did. I'm gonna, you know, let the vapors get out for a few minutes and start, start the generator. That's why we got it. I wonder if anybody else on our dock has lost power, if it's just us, or I, I bet everybody, everybody probably has lost whole, it. whole panel is black. There we go. So there's, a, I think, I looked at our, on our Facebook page for our marina, and it looks like there's lots of people on their boats right yeah. now, and in other marinas. <laughs> there's somebody on a, a sailboat that posted in Lake Linear Boaters group that's uh, watching all the sailboats go up and down in their marina. I, I'm not sure which one they're in, but we are not the only ones riding this out on a boat right now. Not, well, I mean, that's, you lose power on shore, we've got a generator. We've got a generator. Not too bad when you have a little one, you still have power. <laughs> what are you doing, Sweet Pea? Are you trying to play a song? Sweet Pea, it's snowing outside. You're going to get to see your first snow ever. What do you think about that? I think that's okay. That's, that's great. <laughs> it's gonna be fun later after she takes her nap we can go out and play in it
your that's your swing. And you see the snow. Hey Dory, you see the snow too? Uh, I'm a dog. I'm colorblind. Uh, uh. Looks a little different, doesn't it, Claire? Dory, are you in your favorite spot? Careful, the slippery boo. Feels different, doesn't it, trying to walk? It's a little slippery up here. <laughs> Can you throw that? Can you throw the snowball? So one time we'll encourage you. There you go. <laughs> Great job. Sunday evening. It's been snowing. Power's out again. It came back on, which was great. We turned the generator off for a little while. And so uh, it's like, what, 530, almost 6 o'clock at night. Time to fire up the Jenny. That was easy. So do you have to turn it back on once you turn the generators on? How does that work? There's two different power. I've got shore power and generator power. I don't know why this is blinking. Let me, let me, let me get a flashlight. It should be. So there's shore power and generator power. I can slide this over when they're both in the off position, but to make sure there's no reverse polarity, if one of these is up, like the shore power, which we don't have, I can't move this over and turn the generator power on. So I have to huh. go shore power off, slide it, shore power, there we go. So these are the generator sides. Mm -hmm. And I also don't want a big load to come on it. So I'm turning off the air conditioner handler, the compressor, the range, and the water heaters. Oh, I'm glad we already took showers. Yeah. Well, I'll flip it off. So now I'll just turn the power on here. Boom. Look at that. And the power on here. Yay. Now we got everything else. And now I'll, I'll turn the air conditioner compressor back on. Do the handler back on. You don't need the range yet. And I'll go turn it back the on. The water heater later for Claire in her bath. Boom. There you Boom. Go. All right. And Elmo. Well, we made it through the winter storm. I'm gonna get down in the bilge and test the bilge heater again because we're about to head home. And since it's a new bilge heater, just wanna test to make sure it's working. I've been very impressed with it so far. So let's get down there and check it out. And it's still a little windy if you can't tell. It's about 32, 33 degrees outside. I just got down in the bilge. It feels really warm. And the bilge heater hasn't kicked on. Put this guy right up here. Good, I'm glad to see we still have power. And I have a tester for it right here to test the temperature sensor. Look at that. Great product so far. We appreciate everyone sticking around to the end of the video. If you like boats, if you enjoyed this content, it'd be a big help if you would like this, subscribe to our channel, and it lets us know that you enjoy this content. We can keep creating it for you. 
I'm going to put this bill cheater down here, finish packing up the car and head on home and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Appreciate everyone joining and hope to see y'all out on the water.